Bonsoir. Bonsoir. It's now 7 p.m. here in Lyon. And I was supposed to be at this timing taking my bath in La Fromage and my wine. However, we just arrived and we were supposed to arrive at 2 p.m. But the life had a different plan. <laughs> and thank God we're here. I'll tell you why tomorrow because right now I just need to come back to the Zen zone. <laughs> the next day guys it's 5 28 and i already took the metro right now i'm going on the train i'm crazy <laughs> i'm not normal look at this hour 5 29 i feel like a dark tourist voluntarily waking up at 4 a.m it's actually quite a lot of people here which is good but when i woke up it was just empty streets so I have arrived to Maxime Prerouche. Everything's so uh, lovely here. Even look at this train station. How a lovely painted blue little town called Maxime. And uh, I'm on my way to Perouche. <laughs> How cute it sounds. <laughs> Anyways, it's just 6.30 in the morning. I had a bus ride for approximately maybe 40 minutes and obviously the information there wasn't clear at least for the blondie like me so I was like excuse me do you speak English and I find it and I find it very cute that French people usually they they show you this like a little bit we'll say it probably already a thousand times but how I love European summer this morning even though it's a bit chilly wow it's so beautiful you hear the birds I have arrived to Peru apparently this is one of the most authentic um, authentic peaceful and stunning pictures French medieval village. Uh, it was restored and I found it by accident because it's not such a touristy place. I'm alone here but it's 6.40 now. <laughs> Apparently locals have worked really hard to preserve this place. There's not big community, it's a very small place and I'm so happy to explore it. I think it's a photographer uh, paradise because it's not so touristy. It doesn't have so many uh, like tourist traps, all this kind of mass uh, attractions. So, of course, there's no one except me in here right now. And it's so magical. Here's the funny story. Yesterday I was asking one girl, one French girl uh, on a flight and I was like, have you visited this uh, medieval village called Perux? It's like, actually it sounds like our traditional Polish pierogi. <laughs> so I was asking, have you been there? She's like, Perux? I have never been there and I don't know where is it, it's close to Lyon. I was like, yeah, it's very uh, beautiful and um, charming. She's like, mm, no, I don't know. And then I find it on the Google Maps and then she, she was like, ah, oh, Perus. So pardon my friends, but I don't want to hear this beautiful language. Here's a cell. Chambre. Not 
that was the best thing that you could do. It's just magical. The smell of flowers everywhere. City is empty. It is so small that you can walk around in 15 minutes. try to speak a lot but kind of quietly because people are really living here and they slowly wake up to life and you know in Europe it's not a common thing to have a sea so many people they have their windows open so I really do not want to be this weird tourist that is <laughs> coming and talking to the camera 7 a.m. in the morning and shopping here what happened yesterday is kind of my karma because I felt like I really wanted to visit Lyon that much that I didn't even want to swap it and come from my leave one day later. <laughs> Originally, I didn't even reach Lyon <laughs> at first. What happened yesterday was la diversion. <laughs> la diversion, <laughs> as they say in uh, French. We had to imagine, we had a little delay and we had to divert the plane. We were almost approaching Lyon when we found out that there is a huge storm and we were making rounds above Lyon and we couldn't land. We did few circles. I was sitting on a jump seat maybe for like 40 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. And we were making rounds and rounds and rounds and then eventually the captain decided that we are diverting to Nice. This happened first time in my life. This happened first off. Uh, this was the first case that this happened to all of the business class crew, including supervisor who's working there for 10 years. And uh, we didn't expect that. So what happened was we landed in Nice and there was a beautiful wedding, surprising. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, let's stay in Nice. I don't mind to have a layover in a beautiful Nice uh, beach, uh, palms, but of course it didn't happen. After maybe one hour, after refueling, after all of this, we were ready to depart. And we had another departure and another landing and we were back in Lyon. So here I am. This is life. This is a life of flight attendant. We have to be flexible. To be honest, I was so surprised how calm and understanding passengers were. Of course, no one was excited and happy, but I guess everyone believed it's for their own safety. just step inside such a beautiful hotel and I wanted to have a coffee and incidentally they also have the speciality of Perosh that the battery slice with sugar I'll show you in a minute oh, it's it's even written it's called that palette of Perosh our speciality with butter and sugar created but Mam Marie Louise in 1912 it wasn't the best thing that I tried in my life, but probably because it wasn't freshly made, the coffee was great. Oh my god, the smell of the flowers, the smell of summer, everywhere. I feel like if you have a shortened layover, this place is perfect to visit for 2-3 hours, stroll around and feel the spirit, move back in the time. Perouche is that place. Mom 
my only goal for today is to get the famous French brioche a uh, Lyonnaise brioche praline brioche <laughs> okay I'm sorry I tried it once and it was heaven on earth so this time I'm buying a lot of them Finally, my big pralique. Mm -hmm. Super buttery and uh, look how many pralines are inside. This is so delicious. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Hopefully there's not going to be any more diversion in my life. And see you next time.